from the data sheet of the 8 mega 328p microcontroller so these are the list of features of this microcontroller 8 mega 328p so this is the pin configuration and it has different package like tqfp pdip mlp and this is also mlp and this is 32 bit we will use this tqfp package it has 28 pin and comes in different packages as you have seen port b port c and port d are the digital ports which can be used as input and output among this some pins have other features too interrupt 0 and interrupt 1 are the two interrupts pin for your art interface you have the rx and the tx pin rx is the gpio2 and tx is the gpio3 miso mosai serial clock and uh, chip select are the spi interface for i2c communication we have the uh, serial data that is sda and serial clock scl on gpio 27 and gpio 28 there are six ADC channels. Two crystals are the pair, like for external crystal oscillator. ARF is for like analog reference voltage, and reset pin is like to reset the microcontroller. Finally, the VCC and ground are the power pins. You can refer the data sheet of the 8 mega 328 microcontroller. So the pin description are uh, mentioned in this port B, port C. Uh, you will get uh, all of the pins uh, features in that, and uh, you need to refer this uh, block diagram of the Atmega 328P microcontroller. Yeah. Now, now let's start with the uh, schematic design. We have completed up to the power circuit. Now we will start the microcontroller circuit. Okay, so we need the 328p microcontroller. From the right, uh, like add a symbol from the right toolbar, we can click on it. Yeah, so let's search for key. Mega into a e microcontroller. So, if you notice, this is a uh, TQFP package. This is a different uh, package, QFN. This is also different. This is the uh, through hole or the DIP version. So we will select this. Uh, you will also notice at the bottom uh, the description of this uh, particular component, the footprint, etc. So let's click on OK and select the microcontroller. Uh, you can place it. So there is uh, some basic circuit of this microcontroller. Uh, we need some component uh, with along with this microcontroller to work. Uh, the first one is the power, that five volt, and the ground with the decoupling capacitor. To reduce the high frequency component, we use the complete capacitor. So it is recommended to add them to the power pins of the IC, uh, like as close as power in the layout. So we will have a look at it. Okay, this is this is. So we will connect this VCC to analog VCC. Um, as you notice, we have obtained this five volt. So we can just copy this and uh, like distribute this 5 volt everywhere because that is our power circuitry which will provide us the 5 volt. We will use the decoupling capacitors. You can even copy them from this 
0.1 microfarad is rotated. As you can see, these uh, things are overlapping. So you can select this and just click M from the mouse. Okay. Now you can connect them. Now you will need a ground. Now uh, at this point also we need one ground. Uh, so the IC ground uh, is will be connected to the power sub circuit ground. Uh, next thing is to connect. 0.1 microfarad to the a reference pin this one and uh, this is the analog reference pin we need to pull it to ground with the help of this power point one microfarad capacitor. Uh, we will use this no connection flag. Uh, this ADC six and ADC seven will not we will not use. Okay. Uh, we will connect an external sixteen megahertz crystal oscillator to this microcontroller uh, and connect the capacitor and the resistor. So first we need uh, we will take the Register. So this XTL1 and XTL2, these are the crystals. I will just name it. Uh, I mean, give the value 1 mega ohm. Second is I need a crystal. Uh, so this is a 16 megahertz crystal uh, along with that we need two capacitors of 22 microfarad so we we'll search for capacitor c and just copy it and place this and you can give value to picofarad uh, so i will recommend it like uh, you just copy this instead of like just copy it and then you will name the same thing again just wire them up uh, you can just no need to like uh, go on clicking at this point. You can just click on the end of this point and it will be connected. So there are some tips and tricks in this keycard. Uh, so as you go on working, you will get to know. And the value of this crystal decide the uh, value of the resistor and the capacitor. Uh, but we need a crown. Uh, yeah. The crystal circuit is complete. Uh, now, uh, to reset the microcontroller, uh, uh, the reset means in active low, and we will need to connect this reset button to reset the microcontroller. PC6, this reset, uh, it already has a bar on it top. If you see that is active low.
I need a switch. Okay. Uh, I need one kilo ohm resistor, so I can just copy this. Place it here. Uh, um, and we need this five volt. This ground. So we have completed with the reset pin. For the ICHP header, we will use the uh, header as the one similar to the Arduino Uno. So uh, it is like a six pin, two cross three. Uh, so we will use header pins. So just search for connector, and this is one cross dual, one cross with what we need. Two cross three. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Just click on OK. And I can place it somewhere at this point. Okay. So the first pin is the uh, MISO. Uh, I can use this uh, global label and uh, MISO. I can just copy this and Control C, Control V. Uh, on the microcontroller, uh, MISO pin is at PB4. So for that you need to refer the data sheet uh, as I have shown at this point. So we noticed uh, we are using the uh, TQFP package. So uh, uh, yeah, PB4 this part pin number 60. Uh, this is MISO and MOSA is this PB4. Okay, so you have understood this. And MOSA is the same. You need to use PB3. Just control C and control V. And MOSA is like at this point. In four. Now a serial clock. So you have understood that uh, this global label means uh, this same net uh, is connected at this point. So it is it made a connection from this point uh, to this point. No need to have a wire. So yeah. So long wire. Okay, so we need a reset also. But this reset has to be at this reset pin. Okay. Uh, now the two part, the two pins are left, which is the five volt and the ground. Uh, we will connect them. We have the same 5 volt obtained at this uh, power circuitry. So we are done with the uh,
So we are done with the CSP headers. We will connect a LED to the GPIO pin. Uh, so for testing, like we can have an LED at this pin. Uh, we can uh, we can understand we have uploaded the code and the code is running. So it is just a test code or a test LED we can see. We can use any of the uh, digital pins. Uh, I just need one kilo ohm resistor and one LED. I can copy this. One LED. And this LED should be ground. You can just wire it up. So now we will uh, uh, use some external um, sensors which is based on the I2C but uh, we will need some headers so that you can easily connect that sensor to that I2C pin. Uh, yeah, so on the microcontroller um, we need this uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor uh, so that the uh, I2C pins work. Uh, so I can just copy this one kilo ohm resistor. Um, you can refer the data sheet for the I2C pin, the serial data and the serial clock. Uh, PC4 is the uh, serial data. So I can just put it at this point. And I need one more. This one. And this is pulled to 5 volt. I can just copy this. It is like overlapping, so you can just uh, place it somewhere at this point. Uh, we can use the global label. We need headers. So, uh, if you notice, uh, the sensors which is based on I2C has uh, four pins. One is five volt. One is serial data. One is serial clock, and other one is uh, the ground. So, we will use a four-pin connector for that. Or we can see the header. One cross four. Uh, you can take it male or female. Uh, I can put it at this point. Yeah. No. Um, the first pin is the 5 volt. Second is the uh, serial data. So I can just copy this global label and paste it here. Uh, for same for the serial clock. I can zoom in just and align it uh, last one is the ground and then just wire it up uh, as you can see notice that this uh, is not uh, connected properly so you can delete that and you can align this global level yeah okay so we are done with the i2c pins okay uh, so for the usb programming we will use acs340 ic but uh, for that we need the USB RX and the USB TX, TX pins that is at the PD0 and PD1 uh, from the data sheet 
this point rx spd0 and tx spd1 okay i can use this global label usp underscore rx and usp underscore tx Uh, so now uh, we can uh, we are now almost done with the pins uh, for example if you need some uh, connection like the digital pins or you need to connect some different sensor so we will use this pins um, so uh, we are left with four analog pin a0 a1 a2 and a3 so we can have a global label and we can add a, a header Now uh, we are, uh, can use the digital pins also starting from the uh, B3 pin. So you will now notice we have the, uh, almost used all of the pins but the uh, this uh, global label which we just did uh, we will use some connector so that you can easily access them So if you select all of them and just control C and control V, uh, you will get this uh, list of selected items copied. So this header can be uh, accessed uh, we're using these pins. Okay, so we are almost complete with this uh, microcontroller section. Uh, we can just name them so it looks neat and tidy so that it looks good. Uh, so now uh, in the, we will start with the USB uh, schematic. Uh, thank you.